the Windows command prompt. In this quick video, I'll show you 10 genuinely useful commands that aren't just gibberish for IT technicians and those that your average user will actually be able to gain real value from. So with that, let's begin. First up is the super useful tree command. If you go to a folder in File Explorer and you know that you have quite a few folders nested within even more folders and just kind of need to see the entire tree and all the folder paths, then go to the address bar and type in CMD. This will open a command prompt window that is directly looking into that directory or folder. From here, you can simply type the word tree and your whole folder structure is mapped out graphically below. Not gonna lie, I was kind of blown away how cool this feature is and how I'd not figured this one out earlier. Secondly, it's showing all the Wi-Fi networks and passwords your device has ever connected to. So if you type into the command prompt this word command, oh and all the commands across the whole of this video are in the description below for your convenience. Anyway, if you type in this command, you'll get a list of all the Wi-Fi networks you've ever connected to and from here you can type the name of the Wi-Fi network followed by key equals clear and you'll get a few details about that network specifically as well as most importantly the password for that network. Next up is system info. You know I'm sure you've gone into the about section in your Windows settings but this is just a watered down version of the full information. In the command prompt you can simply type system info as a single word and you'll literally get everything you need to know about your device all in one place in regards to the RAM, the date the operating system was installed and even the BIOS version. Together with the Windows settings you'll get everything you ever wanted to know about your device. What can also be handy is the sock command which shows you a great big list of various file types and what program is used to open it. This way you can see what file type is opened with which application. Though if you don't want to see this entire list then just type a sock and then dot the file type. So in my case I type dot mp4. As you can see here command prompt shows what application is used to open the dot mp4 file. Using this you can then type the same command in. So this is a sock followed by the file type so mp4 in my case equals to the new application and thus you can change what application application is used to open mp4s. Something to know here is that for some commands, including this one, you might need to use the admin version of command prompt, which you can simply open from the start menu and by pressing this button. It's just in case you get an access denied error or something. Next is a file comparison command. So if you've ever got two text files that you're 90% sure that they're the same but not 100% certain and you want to delete the duplicate then the best way to do this is to go to that directory by typing cmd in the file explorer for the files and then typing fc followed by the two file names in the command window that pops up. This will tell you if the files are different or not and you can see here that they're the same but if they do have some differences then these will be shown to you as well as you can see here. And I think now is a good time to quickly mention some rapid fire tips for navigating around command prompt which I'll bundle into this one tip as it wasn't an easy way to organize these so here they are now. Changing the theme. You can change the theme of command prompt by typing in the word color followed by a two digit number which corresponds to your background and text color. As you can see you can make your command prompt look very matrix like if you want. To find what number links to which color code you can just type forward slash and then question mark which links into my next point. The help command. If you don't know what something does or need some general help with a command type the command followed by a forward slash and then question mark. This will give you a brief explanation of what the command actually does. The clip command. So if you type in your command and then type this pipe symbol followed by the word clip and then press enter, it will copy the output from the command prompt to your clipboard, allowing you to easily paste the text elsewhere. As you can see here, I pasted the output from this tree command into OneNote. Title and prompt change. You know how the command prompt has this prompt all the time? Well you can change that using the prompt command and same goes for the title bar text as well to change it to whatever you like for some customization of this otherwise dark interface. File explorer to command prompt and reverse as well. So to open a directory in command prompt from the file explorer just type cmd in the explorer bar and this will open the location in command prompt. As you can see here I've opened up the desktop location in command prompt and if you want to do the reverse then you can type explorer followed by a full stop and this will open that directory in the file explorer explorer for you. Function keys. Now after this video I'm sure you've typed a lot of commands so to see your history type dos key and then forward slash history to get a list of commands pasted for you. But what's even better is if you press the F7 key which will bring up a dialog box allowing you to pick with arrow keys to a previous command to enter once again. Talking of function keys F3 might be even more useful which will paste the previous command you entered to the position of your cursor and using the F5 key will cycle between your various commands. Though I prefer pressing the up and down arrow keys to 
do this instead. Right, so moving back to the main tips now. Another really cool feature is the fact that you can create a QR code of any website directly from within the command prompt without needing a separate website or tool to do this. By using the curl space qrenco.de forward slash command followed by the website name such as google.com, you can see that once I press enter, the command prompt will generate me a QR code that will take me to Google when scanned. But you didn't expect a feature like this on this list. Scheduling shutdown. Let's say that you have quite a few tasks that you need your PC to do while you're away from your desk for a bit, but you'd also like your computer to shut itself off after the tasks are finished without having to rely on some external app. Well, in this case, you can use the command prompt to schedule a shutdown. Just type shutdown space forward slash s space forward slash t space and then the number of seconds. So if you want to shut down in 30 minutes, you would just type 1800 seconds into that section. Though, if you want to stop a shutdown that you've initiated, then type shutdown forward slash a to clear the shutdown. Next up is the task list command, which will provide a list of tasks that you have running. Again, this is likely to be of use to you if your task manager is not responding for some reason. From here, you could then use the task kill command to kill a task. So if I have WhatsApp running, for example, you can type this command, which is task kill forward slash the PID number followed by a forward slash F to force the task to close. And after entering the command, WhatsApp disappears from my taskbar full of open apps, IP config and network stuff. What's also useful though, though a bit more on a niche side of things, is the IP config tool, which gives you information on your network and Wi-Fi. And if you want a bit more of an in-depth version, use the IP config forward slash all command. Similarly, if you want to check whether a particular website is down in regards to your connection and use the ping command to ping some packets to and from the websites you're using and by using minus t you can send packets continuously as you can see here from this example by sending packets to and from the apple.com website and finally to wrap up this section is the netstat command for some extra network stuff as well as the get mac forward slash v command which will get you the mac address of your system power settings first of all is power cfg forward slash energy to get insights into your power usage either on a desktop or or power CFG forward slash battery if you're on a laptop. Both of these commands will produce a HTML document and the location of which will be given to you in the command prompt. From here, you can then navigate to that folder and view the file telling you about your battery health usage and overall power consumption. Now, those are some command prompts within Windows, but if you want some dedicated tips on Windows, then click here. Or if you want to up your Google Chrome game, then click here. But otherwise, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.